Tube. It's Jeannie again and I am back with my wrap up for March of 2024. Today I have a finish. I have an FFO or a fully finished object. I have an FO, a finished object. I have one, two, three, four whips that I've worked on besides the ones that I finished. And then I have a little bit of haul and a little bit of plants. So, um, so we'll get right into it. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, so I'll start with my fully finished object. And that is on top of my pile. And that is my name tag for my embroidery guild that I joined. It's um, Embroidery Guild of America. Bishop's Peak is the chapter name. Uh, this is the pin. And this was a little uh, pattern that they gave me to stitch up for, uh, for my name for the guild. So anyway, so that is all finished. Basically, I finished this like a, just like an unstuffed pillow. So this fabric that you see on the back was some fabric of my mom's, which I loved being able to use. Um, I just sewed it all the way around and made a little snip to turn it, put a little uh, felt heart that matched on the back, put the pin on, and then for my, um, for my, you know, to be able to wear it around my neck or to be wear, able to wear it as a name tag, I actually just used um, a glasses holder. This, I think I got it at the Dollar Tree, and I just whip stitched it onto the backing and um, it's just a little braided dark brown um, glasses holder and that's what I did. I figured that'll work for now. I don't know if I'll keep it that way but I figured that will work for now and um, I'm really happy with how it came out. I did this on, you were able to do it on whatever fabric uh, that you wanted to. I did change the colors a little bit because I just stitched from Stash. It had an extra, oh here comes, here comes Stashy. It had an extra, I think it had a different color green for the thread here and the needle. And there was maybe another brown. I just didn't think it needed it. So I just used the one, two, three, four colors or whatever in there. And I think it came out just fine. And I used just a scrap of, this is Mushroom Monaco 28 count is what I used. So um, yeah, so that um, is my FFO, my my uh, name tag for EGA. And I, you actually get like points if you wear your stitch name tag each for each meeting. And then they accumulate for a uh, like a drawing to pay your dues for the following year so um, but anyway the corners aren't perfect but um, it was fun I was glad to get it done and um, I enjoyed stitching that my other finish my FO is um, in my plans video for the beginning of the year I said there there were four whips that I was going to work on and try to finish one each quarter and my first one was this was a free uh, pattern on the DMC website of this little Jack Russell and this was my focus on a finish for January, February, and March and I finished it uh, like the third week in March. So um, so I'm really pleased with how it came out. You guys, this little Jack Russell, I mean that looks like our the Jack Russell that we had for 17 years. Um, he sat in this pose, his markings were almost identical, um, he made that little tilted head face and stuff and I had been looking for a uh, Jack Russell pattern. I really wanted to, to stitch a Jack Russell for my husband and um, because he just loved that dog. I mean we all did but um, and he was a uh, he was a wonderful terrible dog <laughs> as Jack Russells tend to be. Uh, in fact if you look back at my old scrapbooking videos from you know six seven eight years ago you'll see him in the videos but anyway his name was Otis but um, anyway so I uh, stitched this and got it all done and I do love it. I think I'm going to try to find a like an oval frame. I think it would look really nice in an oval frame. I haven't even started looking for a frame. I'll probably just frame, frame it myself. Uh, but again, you guys, this one, this one had maybe eight or ten colors. Um, and I think for as really as simple as it is, it's very. Um, it has a nice, a lot of nice detail to it. Um, the other thing about our dog Otis is he always wore a, a red. We loved him in red. That was our favorite color collar to have on him. And so we didn't usually put bandanas on him, but I thought this was close enough. I didn't, I didn't change up the pattern. But, um, but anyway, a little bit of backstitching. But it, um, and you can find this. They have lots of cute little dog 
dog and pet patterns on the DMC website, so you can find that there if you are so inclined. Um, but that is my first uh, quarterly finish, and I'll show you in plans what I'm planning to work on for April, May, and June. Then as we move on to whips, I have, I've worked on my Ink Circles Elemental Dragons. This I started for the, uh, I need to take a picture of it, but it was for the Year of the Dragon sale, started by uh, Samantha, the Huga Stitcher. And um, so this was the pattern. I just, I have other dragons that I'm currently stitching, other whips with dragons, but I, I wanted to start something new. So I started this and I'm using a highly variegated thread. And I, um, and this is where I got, I, I've got another dragon. One little problem here, you guys, is I have a, I have a, I have an air somewhere. I'm about a half a stitch off um, here with this dragon meeting up with this dragon. So I don't know what to do about it. I don't know if I'm going to try to just fudge it um, or whatever. I'm not really sure, but I might just keep going and see if I can stand it. But this is on, um, I think it's 36 count vintage country mocha linen. Um, and I'm using that variegated thread. I have decided I'm going to, um, with these like branches around the dragons and up here through the middle, I'm gonna do a solid complementary brown um, and just do all of the actual dragons in the variegated floss. So that is my plan there. Um, so I hope I can I hope I can stand my little fudge, my little mistake there, but I don't know since it's symmetrical. I don't know, maybe not. But anyway, we're gonna see how it goes and um, but that is my uh, year of the dragon cell, and I worked on it just a little bit. Um, I've also been working on just very little on my Happily Ever After. This is the stitch I'm doing for my daughter that's getting married in June, and oh my gosh, you guys, I don't know if I'm going to get it done. This um, this one goes really, really slow. I have, opt um, I have swapped out the fabric for an even weave, which I, I'm loving the fabric and I, I'm loving the colors on the fabric, but my problem with it is it's, I'm afraid to count too far. I'm just, I'm still new enough to even weaves that I don't, um, I don't trust myself to count very far. So that means I'm having to like stop and back stitch and there's tons of color changes and, um, but anyway, but it is, it's coming out really pretty. <laughs> But I don't know if I'm going to get it done by June. So, or really I'd like to have it done by the early June so I could get it framed. But um, but I don't know if that's going to happen. But I don't think she'll be mad if I, you know, um, if I don't get it done, quite done uh, before their wedding. But um, but anyway, but this is where I am on it. So I've got more of the backstitching done. And like I said, I have to sort of backstitch my way to more of the crosses because I don't trust the um, counting too terribly far and everything's kind of far apart on this or can be far apart. So um, so I'm, st I'm working uh, to my left. Um, this is the Y and Happily and so I'm working this direction. But these, like any Dimensions kit, there's a ton of backstitching and that's all done here and ever. Um, there's a little bit more down in here that I'll need to do to kind of work my way over to the H. Um, but I've been trying to backstitch as I go, so I don't really mind doing the backstitching, but it's just, I don't know, it's, it's going, it's going slowly, just let me say that. So, anyway, so, um, but this is where I am on it. I do think it looks really, this is on 32 count Murmur by Picture This Plus, which is a really pretty, just slightly variegated soft peach, and the oranges are looking beautiful on it, and the pinks, um, so, and the browns, the warm browns. So I, I am loving the choice, um, but it's just, like I said, it's going very, very slowly. So um, anyway, so, but I'll just continue to plug away at that and hopefully I will be able to get, um, to get that, um, some good headway on that before the wedding, which is, like I said, the third week in, in June. Um, the other, oops, and I'm, I'm burying my stuff here. The other, um, whip that I worked on. This is a, uh, a pro an EGA project that I joined, and it's this Pine Mountain Crafts 
tie on winter and I started this with my buddies that joined Guild with me and um, and it's interesting because it comes completely finished and all you do is the stitching. So I do have the written the ribbons uh, pinned back, but which way does it go? It goes this way. And so I just this one is a really easy one to work on um, during Guild. As you can see, it should have been shifted over like maybe a row, but I'm not going to worry about it. This is just for me. Um, and then I do have a little pillow. I showed it in a different video that goes inside here. And there's uh, there's Pistachio, my little buddy for videos. But um, anyway, so I just worked on that at Guild. Not too terribly much, but it is one that I, uh, like I said, I take to Guild. It's a Guild project. We also get extra points for Guild projects that we finish throughout the year um, toward our toward that drawing um, of our of our free membership dues. So. Anyway, so I'm, I'm just trying to work on that one. And then the last one I worked on, you guys, was Strawberry Fields Forever. I'm, I'm stitching this with a group, uh, a Zoom group, uh, led by um, Catherine, the Needleberry Stitcher. And honestly, hi, baby. Honestly, um, he looks like he's going to launch onto my shoulder. We'll see. But I've only worked on this. I've only put a couple of strands in. I've only, we, we Zoom the first Saturday of the month. And... Um, it and like I said, I've I've only worked on it then um, because I've been focused on those other things I've been trying to finish. So um, anyway, but here it is. I am enjoying it. I love my fabric choice on this. I'm using Earthen by Picture This Plus. It's a 32 count uh, Lugana, and I'm just working through um, filling in the that red color in the house. And that's really a nice that's a nice thing to stitch on during a zoom call because you know now that because I have all the windows and doors in it doesn't take a lot of thought and you can chit chat you know while you're stitching so that is my uh, strawberry fields forever so those are my fully finished my whips and um, that sort of thing I don't have my plans oh and here you kitty and here's my plan for the next thing is to pet this cat and not have him knock over my, uh, he's, he's trying really hard to knock over my tripod here. But, um, but anyway, so, no, we're not going to play with that. Oh, goodness. Kitty, kitty, kitty. So, yeah, he's getting frisky. So, you getting frisky, buddy? So, let me see if I can get him excited about something else. Yeah, now you're stuck. Now you're caught on my sweatshirt. There we go. So, um, so let's talk just briefly about plans. Um, the only thing, really big plan I have is to, I'm going to keep working on what you just saw, but I'm also going to add in my next project for Kitty. No, no, get down. No, no, we're getting all riled up. I might have to put him out, you guys. And I'm sorry I don't edit, so you might have to just sit here while I do that. We'll see. Um, but my, my project for spring, for this, this next quarter, is to work on my Irish Blessing piece. And this one, I did a ton of work on last year. And um, let me show you what it's going to look like when it's done. It's in this old, and I say old because it's from the 80s, this Stony Creek Hearts at Home booklet that I got at my used bookstore. Um, but, and I'm working on this one right here. So um, when I was in choir in high school, we sang a really beautiful version, a cappella version of the Old Irish Blessing. And so it's always been special to me. And um, so, and the mushrooms I think are right on point. I love the colors. So I didn't change anything about it. Of course, I won't finish it with all these ruffles and teddy bears and stuff. But, um, but anyway, so, but I did a lot of work on this one last year. I hoped to get it done last year and I didn't, didn't quite get it done, but I, I made lots of headway. So um, this is the one I'm going to try to be my focus on a finish for um, uh, April, May, and June. So here it is. So it's got, um, you can see the crosses are, okay, kitty. You gotta get down. Yes, you gotta get down. You're being a nuisance, right? So the crosses are almost completely done here. You can see I've got a few more flowers at the top and a few more, a little bit more filling on the mushrooms. And then it's back stitching. And again, like any Stony Creek um, pattern, it's got a ton of back stitching. I need to finish the phrase and then do the back stitching in the flowers and mushrooms. And then hopefully, 
um, I can get this done this spring. And like I said, this one is for me, so try not to put too much pressure on myself, but that is, that's what I'm adding in in place of the uh, Jack Russell that I finished. So, um, so yeah, so there's that. And then, you guys, I have, so those are my plans along with mostly the wedding stitch. Um, that's got to be a priority, uh, so I'll continue to work on that and um, those other things that I showed you. And then I do have a little bit of haul, not a, not a ton, but I did get a few things that I'm, I'm pretty excited about. Um, one of the things is I got, so I got my um, March Fabric of the Month, month from Brandy. I'm in the Bestitch Me uh, Fabric of the Month Club and I get the, um, the combination color and neutrals. And this was a neutral month and the color is really beautiful. It's called Gold Rush. Hopefully there's not too much glare on there and you can see it, but it reminds me a lot of, it would be a good dupe for, picture this plus, plus gingerbread. Um, it's really, really pretty. So I think a, like a Christmas pattern would be really pretty on this. Um, but um, anyway, so that, so I got that. And then I also, you guys, I decided to buy the, I wanna do the Carolyn Manning uh, pattern called Butterfly Garden or Hummingbird Garden, excuse me. Um, and um, Annie's Craft did a kit for it. And um, so I decided to just go ahead and purchase the kit. So it has the cry neck, it has a white even weave, and then it has all of the, this is Sullivan's um, cotton floss. And then it also has, there's little, um, I don't know if you can see those, let me see if I can take them out. There's little hummingbird charms that also, go. I'll show you the pattern here in a second. It's in the Just Cross Stitch magazine. So um, you can see here there's the, there's six little hummingbird, I think there's six of them, five or six little hummingbird um, charms that you, that you put onto the piece. Um, and that all came in the kit. I decided just to get the kit because I don't have a full set of DMC or whatever. And um, my, um, we, when we had a Beverly's, they had the full line of, of um, Sullivan's floss. Um, I never bought a whole lot of it, but um, but they did have it, and they're really pretty colors. And that is to go with, uh, like I said, the the Hummingbird Garden uh, pattern in Just Cross Stitch. This is the one that came out for spring. And let me find it in here so I can show you what it looks like. Um, I'm sorry, I should have had it marked. And so this is coming out, um, there'll be a part of it in each four editions of the magazine um, this year, and this is what it looks like. So isn't that beautiful? I, I really was, was thinking I wanted to do a Carolyn Manning, and then when I saw this one, I'm like, that's the one. So anyway, so I got that and I got the kit. I haven't, I don't have any big plans to start it um, anytime soon. Um, I can tell you though that Carolyn at Seazook Stitch, she is doing a stitch, she is hosting a stitch along on it. And they're, I think they're trying to do like one of those mandalas a month or whatever to finish it by the end of the year, which is such a great plan. But I have, like I said, so many other stitch obligations that um, I'm not going to start it this year, maybe next year. Maybe that'll be my new year and new start. Who knows? Um, I also got um, this. Uh, you know, I have been noticing, you guys, a lot of the um, the Dimensions Gold collections, um, especially the Christmas ones, have been coming up on super, super deep discount on Amazon. And this one, the Candy Cane Santa Stocking, um, came up on my feed, and it was $12, you guys. So I don't know if it's still that cheap, um, you know, how things fluctuate on there, but excuse the glare, but that is, um, but I just couldn't for a Dimensions Gold, I just couldn't pass it up for that much. And sometime in my dreams, I'd like to do a stitch stocking for everybody in my family. Now, whether or not that'll ever happen, I don't know. But um, anyway, that is something that I'd like to do. And then the last but not least, you guys, I got the M Emma Cond Cogden book um, cross stitch with catitude 20 possum designs and so of course being the crazy cat lady that I am I needed to uh, to purchase this and you guys there are a lot of really cute patterns in here I don't know how much I can show let me show the see if I can show you the front cover um, I don't know if I can get it here in my oops sorry in my tripod 
but there's some of the patterns there. Feed me and tell me I'm pretty. I love that one. Um, this one is fun. It looks like a um, it looks like a tattoo sort of. Um, one of the things you guys I can tell you about this book is let me see if I can find another page that doesn't show the patterns um, too much. Um, here for the cats. Humans are gross. That's cute. Oops. But one of the things I can tell you is on most of these patterns, I don't really like the color combination. So I can see myself doing, the, the colors are really bold and just, just not my favorites. Um, some of them are not too bad, um, but some of them I just don't, don't really care for the color palette. Um, I do love this one. I'm a normal cat lady, you're a crazy people person. So, um, had to get that one, and then, um, but like I said, a lot of these, I don't, I'm not in love with the, like the orange and purple hair, um, I love it, I love the stitch, I'm just not crazy about the colors. So, I can see myself, um, changing out the colors of a lot of these, uh, but I do like a lot of the patterns, and so I actually bought that on Amazon. I think it was about $16. Um, so that was my other piece of haul. So anyway, you guys, that's it for me. Um, thank you so much for coming back for one of my floss tubes, and I will see you all at the end of April. Have a great day. Oh, and happy Easter if you um, celebrate.